Adequate risk and return investments have proved elusive following the global financial crisis, where governments have implemented quantitative easing and, as a result, low interest rates to boost economic recovery. However, here to speak about more buoyant investment opportunities is Alberto Mata from Futura Investment Management. Well, Alberto, Futura Investment Management focuses on niche markets. So why was the company set up and what's your investment style? If you look at banking and asset management, they both worked as completely separate uh, industries, where in banking you have financial sophistication, you have flexibility, you have balance sheet, and uh, you can provide investors with tailor-made solutions that work uh, according to the specific needs they have. Asset management was exactly the opposite. Asset management was very much uh, value creation or there was a culture for value creation from uh, alignment of interest, which is very important in asset management, and also, uh, in a way, a transparency. But of course, there, there was no flexibility. You know, most asset managers were creating the product and uh, uh, investors either liked the product or didn't like the product. So what we try to do with Futura is really to merge the two cultures. Where are you concentrating funds currently and where are the best investment opportunities? It's a difficult market environment at the moment. What we see right now is, uh, is an undue uh, reward for illiquidity. Okay, so if you look at the illiquidity premium, i.e. the excess return that you get from illiquid assets, we think that this premium is, uh, uh, does not justify the, you know, the, the real risk of illiquidity. We are in an environment where interest rates are very low again, so it's very difficult to make money for you as an asset manager. We try to focus on illiquid assets because we think that that's where the value, I mean from a risk uh, return point of view, that's where most of the value is. And uh, we have the type of investors that allows us to do that. So if you look at, for example, investors that have uh, long-term investment horizons, like 15 years, if you look at a pension fund or an insurance company, they don't need that liquidity. So it's actually a sin for them to go after uh, liquid assets because they lose out all their extra premium that they could get uh, and they really don't need it because they have long-term uh, long liabilities and sh they should have long-term assets. So we try to focus on, on this type of uh, investment and that's why one of the main uh, focus for us is uh, real estate. We also look at secondaries of private equities. What's the challenges of investing in these areas and how do you manage risk? Well, you know how it is, investors sometimes change their mind or their objectives change and all of a sudden it's difficult for, for us to uh, liquidate a portfolio uh, if an investor decides to uh, decides that he wants to invest only in liquid assets. So we always have to keep a, a clear balance between our full investment portfolio also allowing for uh, you know, that one or two investors that might change uh, the strategy. So in terms of risk, the way we uh, try to de-risk the portfolio is first of all with uh, local presence and local expertise because at the end of the day, the more you know about uh, what you're buying and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the, low risk, the lower the risk you're going to take. And secondly, we try to have a match between the liquidity of the assets that we own and uh, what we say in the documentation. So we don't promise uh, you know, the possibility to redeem instantly the, the funds. So investors that come into our fund, they know that they are there for, for, the, long, for the long run uh, so that we can exploit the strategy. Well, you're based in Malta and the tax structure in Malta is significant for investors. What's the incentives? That's not the main reason why we're in Malta. I mean, Malta is a hidden pearl in, in my point of view because you have uh, availability of skills, which is uh, unprecedented. You have really this eagerness to, to succeed and to work. Uh, the responsiveness you have from, uh, from the MFSA, which is the regulator, is exceptional. So the reason why we're in Malta is really for that. We were trying to have an alternative market for Luxembourg. We also have a Luxembourg platform. Malta is, uh, you know, I always say that they have the mind of the English and the heart of the Italians. And luckily, it's not the other way around. It's, it's really a place where people there want to do business. And that's something that is, is very much appreciated. Unfortunately, if you look at Luxembourg, uh, which is a competing uh, uh, market, in fact, it's a leading market, it, I think they have been so successful that they become a bit complacent. And I think the responsiveness that you get from the regulators, from the lawyers, from the, the service providers there is, uh, uh, reflects uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of opportunities for them. So they're not as responsive, whereas in Malta, it's, it's, everything works like a Swiss clock. You have a close partnership with Optimum. Why is this beneficial for your clients? Unfortunately, the only, let's say, black mark of Malta is perception. So a lot of institutional investors don't like Malta and they prefer Luxembourg for some reason that 
it's more due to uh, you know past reasons or, or, or perception. I mean, at the end of the day, Malta is a member of the European Community, so there is no reason why there should be uh, more uh, recognition to Luxembourg than Malta. But that's the way it is, and unfortunately, we have to adjust to the uh, to what the market wants. So, why Optimum? Optimum is a Luxembourg is our Luxembourg platform, and a lot of the investors don't want to invest in Malta; they want to invest in Luxembourg. So, we need to provide the two alternatives uh, in order to attract investors and give them the choice. So finally, what plans do you have for future growth? We will continue to be in illiquid assets because we really believe that that's the way to go uh, and that's where the, the opportunities are. So right now we have, as I said, we are in a number of markets, uh, real estate markets uh, around the world. We would like to launch a second US fund. We think the US market continues to offer great opportunities. It's probably one of the only economy that, uh, uh, that is uh, growing uh, significantly and consistently. We would also like to go into emerging markets, so that's something that we might do in the next uh, two to three years, but I would uh, uh, expect to launch a second U.S. fund uh, very soon. Alberto, thank you. Thank you very much.